Boom. We're in the house. Yeah, man. Them dudes. Once again, it's on. Yeah, man. How do we do it? Week after week. It ain't the weather. That's for damn sure. No, we can't be stopped by weather. (laughs) Oh, it's minus four. So what? (laughs) Super duty must go. Podcasting on y'all bitches. I mean, we don't care what the fucking weather is. Yeah, it's like minus something out the last couple of days. Dog, yesterday, um, after I left work, because I've been, I used my mom's vehicle because um, mine was acting stupid yesterday. And I come out from work, car won't start. Mm-hmm. Like. Just that fast. Yeah, just that fast. Eight hours. It started perfectly fine in the morning. Yeah. Come out, car won't start. So that ain't even a kicker. So then call AAA. They said, we're so busy, we can't even give you a time that we're going to be there. <laughs> yeah, yesterday was probably the realest day ever for roadside assistance. Dog, it was, they got, like, I didn't, I didn't get home until almost 10 o'clock at night. They, oh, wow. Because it had to you be You was there. right out there? Yeah, I was, I had to be there. Oh, yeah, you couldn't leave it. Couldn't leave it. because they could have hit me up. Got to be there but for. But yeah, you, you still could have had to sit there until yeah, they tell well, you. Well, my that. mom came, and my mom came, with because she got another car. She came, took me to eat. Yeah. And we came back. But still, like, they didn't get there until. 9 30 it's insane yeah Damn. It, was, it was real dog see th- that's dedication man people need to hear what we got to go through to bring this podcast to the world real real life they don't even know man <laughs> the struggles the struggles you man. know what i'm saying we be out here man thugging it man like yeah we're gonna bring this to y'all man no weather can stop us nah man it's freezing out oh here. your car's acting up so what <laughs> podcast. still podcasting on you yeah. bitches and so uh yeah we here man super duty tough work blueprint logic the yeah. most infamous podcast on planet Earth. Yes, sir. And, uh, you know, this week we're going to do some hip hop shit. Mm-hmm. You know, we don't do a lot of the straightforward hip hop topics very often. Yeah. But they tend to be very entertaining when we do. Yeah. I think the battle episode opened us up. Yeah. yeah. Pe- I, people I, liking that. Yeah. I enjoyed that, too. Listening <laughs> to it back, you know, actually watching it. You like it now. Watched it. You get it. You know what I'm saying? Watched it. it on the YouTube. Watching the <laughs> podcast. On, not listening. Watching and listening. You know, you guys, uh, you can do that now. You can do that. On our brand new YouTube channel. Yeah, we broke 100. Yeah, we had like 140, I think. Yeah, man. Yeah. It's, it's, it's growing. I'm going to let it cook for a while because I got that link. And if I change the link, then the link won't work. So I'm mm. going to let my, my Facebook then go mm-hmm. see how many more people I get at it and then I'm gonna switch over we'll have a, a super duty URL so nice that's exciting nice we fucking made it man yeah man okay so this week we know we're gonna talk about you know as as one of the most uh, common things we get asked as underground rappers is who do you like right what do you listen to mm-hmm. do you like that new such and such mm-hmm. oh man what do you think about remember when Odd Future came out and everywhere you went every, people was asking us 24 yes. 7 that was the most annoying thing in yeah. the entire time I've been an independent and when artist. they first dropped I had, I had no idea who they were yeah I, I knew had, who they were but I still was like can I get asked anything else yeah I had I had no idea and then once I knew who they were, I still hadn't heard any music yet. Yeah. You know. But it was like like they took over. So like one of the most, I ain't going to say it's annoying, but it's kind of annoying sometimes when people, the first question they ask you out of all the things they could ask you when they get mm-hmm. a, they finally meet you, right. and they ask you what you think of some other rapper. Right. It's like, this is what you've been waiting on, dog? Like, yeah. All this time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think about that other rap. What do you think about them? I don't think about them. But this episode is actually about, you know, that topic. The opposite of that. The opposite of that. (laughs) The opposite. And that's why it's so awesome. The flip side. The flip side. This this week's episode, you know, is about rappers that we're supposed to like, but we actually don't. Yes. And there are many. Mm. And you would be surprised at how many... uh, that that they think we're supposed to like but we're just like yeah this could have been like 30 30 people yeah long. we had to shorten the list <laughs> we, had to, we had to take some people out you don't want to look like real haters it's like <laughs> i mean we're crotchety old men but we ain't haters right, we right. can be crotchety and cantankerous but i don't consider myself a hater yeah. and so in this episode you know we got the top 10 rappers that we're supposed to like but we actually don't mm-hmm. and uh we'll take a break and we'll be right back right. 
We got you stuck off the realness The most infamous, you heard of us Official podcast murderers The show comes equipped with few points to share Grown man ideas for all those who care And wanna grow, so go ahead and download Every single week with a brand new episode You're not alone in this world, cousin So we share information and honest discussion And keep repping the culture like we supposed to They spread gossip, but they never come closer I can hear it inside their tone They talk about the industry, but never left their home You get laced up with bullet points and such Plus empowering topics that they never would touch You can put your whole network against the team But Super Duty Tough Works, the MVP Most valuable podcast on MP3 Priceless info, but all of it's free huh. So take these words home and think them through Super Duty Tough Work is coming at you You are now listening to Super Duty Tough Work With your host, Blueprint Raw and uncut Adult conversations No shucking, no jiving And no bullshit Okay. Yeah. We back. We here. The most infamous podcast on planet Earth. Uh-huh. <laughs> Bringing you, you know, edutainment in its finest. <laughs> and uh <laughs> we got to go into it, man. Mm. Rappers we're supposed to like but actually don't. Mm. And we're going to start it off with number 1 and I'm going to kick this thing off here. Kick it off. And this is an artist who is pretty much certifiably a legend. Right. Who has been considered a legend the for goat. the last two. Yeah, they he's the goat. he's in GOAT discussions. Yeah. Uh, he popularized a lot of things in hip hop. Some good, many bad. Many. Um, he was a very prolific artist. And when you're my age, people assume you love this guy. Yeah, me too. And because we grew up in the time, <laughs> right? You know what I'm saying? We was there when <laughs> it happened. There, yeah. Okay, number one rapper mm. we're supposed to like, but we don't is none other. Hit him up, Tupac <laughs> Shakur. Tupac, Tupac Shakur, man. How do I start? Okay, <laughs> did he have a dope voice? Yes. Mm-hmm. Did he have some hit records? Yes. Yes. I I get around. Yes, classic. Oh my gosh, it's some classic. He has classic. He jokes. has a couple of singles. Yeah. He does kind not have love. singles, yeah. right? He's got some amazing singles. Mm-hmm. But let's be honest. His albums are terrible. And I don't know. I have thought his albums were terrible since Tupacalypse Now. Yeah, I've never, From been, his a, first I've never to, been a fan. To, to Tupacalypse Now, to Elfin for Zagging. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Elfin for Zagging. Elfin for Zagging. That was his second album. What is written, for life. Yeah, it was yeah. written backwards, right? right. Elfin for Zagging. Elfin for Zagging album. <laughs> <laughs> to... I just called it niggas for life. Like, I never really. It's Elfin for Zagin. Elfin for Zagin. <laughs> you can't trust a man who put out an album called Elfin for Zagin. <laughs> Tupac Shakur. Hey, man, we might get beat up talking about pop like this, man. Great actor. Yeah. But man, oh man, were his albums awful. I was never, I was never big on pop. <sighs> My man. roommates in college worshipped Tupac. Mm. They fucking loved Tupac. My guy Jay, he would play Tupac twenty four seven, like every fucking hour. And the first thing that jumped out to me about Tupac, and this was back in ninety five, ninety six, this man had a terrible ear for beats. Mm. Outside of his singles, right? You heard some beats on his record. Yeah. That just sounded like there's no way this could have been the only beat available to you. Right. You had. How did you it? rap to this? Yeah. Yeah. And and when they use the whole prolific thing, oh, he does he did 200 songs in a month. He's got 600 songs. I'm mean, like, yeah, because 480 <laughs> of the 500 are trash. <laughs> Tupac is yo. I feel like I'm supposed to love Tupac, but I just don't like him. And, I try, man. Uh, I think his voice is like when I when he's in his pocket. Oh yeah, he sounds dope. He sounds really dope yeah. when he's in his pocket. You know, like I get around, talk about it like that. Uh, mm-hmm. So many tears. Yeah, I love that Brittany jam. Got a baby, even yeah, like the singles, the singles, the singles. But his albums were so goddamn lopsided, and yeah. the cult of Tupac. Oh man, is what really makes me dislike Tupac. Yeah, it turns me off. Uh, like the people will, they, they treat him like he's Bob Marley of rap. Yeah, man. I mean, it's real. Re- people really think he's like still alive in Costa Rica somewhere. They'll fight you over this. Yeah, like seriously. I'm like, dude, he's fucking dead. Yeah, and he wasn't that dope. Yeah, like it's dudes that like 
breathe Pac. Like they got Pac. Like cats got two Pac tattoos on on their bodies. Yes. I mean, let's just be, keep it real. Look, I, this is a topic that maybe it'll be a whole nother thing. But yeah. there was a point where I was going to write a book about how Tupac and Biggie fucked up hip hop. Oh, and I can see. I, I had see a that. lot of things about Tupac that I didn't like that have taken off now and are now institutions within hip hop. Mm-hmm. But I mean, it's just fucked up that like if you say you don't like Tupac in the wrong place. Oh yeah, you could. I mean, you might have to fight. Yeah, fight your way out of there, man. Yeah. Keep your back to the wall. Yeah, I never, never liked Pac. Uh, like whenever people say you know the greatest of all time, I'm like, Tupac, where Tupac? Where to whom? Where? <laughs> Where you know what I'm saying for real? Where he's not even the dopest rapper in Oakland, man. Come on, E40 better than E40 got a better catalog. Than Tupac, I don't Dog. care what nobody said. Oh, I listen to some 40 before. 40 I listen got to some more Pac. classic records than Tupac. Short, too short. More classic records than Tupac. Yeah, I'm sorry, man. And I know that's disrespectful to people in the Bay. Like, how you gonna say I'm sorry, man? Pac just. Yeah, I wasn't a Pac fan, man. I don't like you. Yeah, and uh, that's number one. Yeah, I'm, I'm in full <laughs> agreement with that. Okay. All right, man. My who, first one. Who you got? This one is probably you know some people because people worship this dude too. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? People think you know he kind of sounds like Tupac sometimes. His sometimes pattern. He tried to. Yeah. 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 He tried. I, mean, I don't know if he tries to, but he does. Yeah, he copies the pattern. But um, I think and people think this dude is like the second coming or something. <laughs> um, you know, just because you go platinum without no features Uh-oh. ain't always a good thing Uh-oh. necessarily. <laughs> Um, <laughs> oh, um, my number one is J Cole. Oh, I don't get it. Damn, I don't get it. J Cole. He makes he makes pretty good songs. Never really liked the album of his. Yeah, and when he raps, he don't say nothing that makes me ooh. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like he just says like normal shit. Yeah, and it's on beat. Like I, I'm, <laughs> I'm just, <laughs> I'm just saying, man. Like. And I'm not being a hater. I'm not. I just, I just don't get it. I just don't fucking get it, man. I've tried too. I know. I've tried. We've talked about him before. Yeah, I've you tried. definitely have tried. I've I've, I've I've gotten albums. I bought the um the um uh, what was the one when he was sitting on the roof? I forget the name of that record. Yeah, it was like named after a street or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Like, I actually bought that record because I'm Damn. trying to support the young black man. You know what I mean? <laughs> you bought it because it's black elite man. You know you fucked Dog. up there. I bought. I, I mean, it was, it was $9.99 Let on me the, on the young on black the, man, you young know, brother. I'm like, because I liked a couple of the singles, so I bought the record, and I was like, I don't get it, dog. Yeah, I can say I've never bought any of his albums. I don't understand. Here's a, I will say this. I have had the opposite effect with J. Cole. Oh, whereas you started to like him? <laughs> I like his mixtapes. Uh-huh. And then by the time he was putting out albums, I was just like, who's this dude rapping? <laughs> is this the same guy? <laughs> <laughs> what happened to the dude who was murdering the mixtapes back See, in the day? I, n- I never listened to the mixtapes. Yeah. I didn't get into that. So maybe if I go back and listen to the mixtapes, maybe yeah. I'll understand. Yeah, maybe. I but, don't know. But, but I don't I don't get it, dog. He, but here's why people think you're supposed to like J. Cole. Because he's J- positive. He's positive. He's considered like the positive uh, lyrical rap of today. Like right. to, to younger kids, he's like their positive. Like the con, you know how Kanye looked when Kanye came mm-hmm. out, but everybody else on uh, Rockefeller was super yeah, gangster right, shit. Right. But it's like, well, Kanye's the positive right. guy. He's like the, the guy. He's not selling dope or killing people. Yeah. Like. They have the same thing with J. Cole. Yeah, I just don't get like you know. And, and I, I will, I, I've gotten in arguments with people who say that <laughs> J. Cole is a better rapper than Kendrick. I, I, there's no as a rapper, just rapping, just yeah. rapping. I'm not talking concepts or anything. Like, just as a rapper, I can't see it. <laughs> I can't. I, there's no fucking way. There's no way. Look, I tried to like his last album. Who? Uh, J. Cole. I listened to it on Spotify. I listened to it once. Uh, I listened to it maybe twice. And there was a couple jams. And I was like, yeah, this. But I think it was like, like it was started out okay. I don't like his production anymore. Maybe that's my thing. He'll have, you know, I don't, I'm not a fan of his production. And, you know, for him, it's like he's cool, but his subject matter is not that crazy. But I don't think he's bad. But I, I'm not saying he's whack. No, he's not whack. But here's the thing. You don't have to be whack to be somebody I don't want to listen to. Right, right. And I think he's one of those guys where he hasn't gone far enough. Mm-hmm. And like, if you're gonna be the positive, smart, lyrical dude, right. take it all away yeah, there. Like envelope push because I think I think what it is is 
it's a different climate than when we were coming up. Yes. Because you can be okay. And when you compare to Lil Uzi, when you compare to Lil Pump, <laughs> when right. you compare to a lot of these, you know, these mumble rappers that can't yeah. rap on beat. If you rap on beat and your and your um and your drums knock, yeah, then you like and you talking about actually talking about something because he does have subject matter. He talks about things. Very true. Then you're considered like, oh, yeah. this dude is. No, you're not. You're not. <laughs> <laughs> you're not. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you're not let J Cole live it all over there. I'm Damn. just saying, man. I don't get it. I don't get it. Like think about if J Cole came out in 98 now nah, if he came out in 98 90, he'd be motherfucking uh uh 95 93 come on dog no 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 he wouldn't have got no burn no that's he what i'm saying no back then nah. that's, that's where i come from that's where we come from <laughs> so i'm seeing all this praise and i'm like i can't i can't support that i tried if j cole came out in 96 he'd have been skilo <laughs> i wouldn't have been that bad <laughs> Ski Lo could rap. See, ski, I actually have Ski Lo's tape. I yeah, wish I'm not. That's not an insult to right. Ski Lo. Just don't get fucked up. In comparison to what was so, out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he didn't like, yeah, yeah, that dude's cool, but I mean, he's kind of corny. He's just over there doing it. He can rap, though. Yeah, he can rap. <laughs> he's cool. <laughs> yeah, man. Like, come on, oh, dog. That's funny as fuck. So, I, that's my, that's my um, J. Cole rant. But yeah, J. Cole. <laughs> okay. I went on for a while, but oh, oh, my bad. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> I just don't get it, man. Okay, I don't have that much of a rant for my next one because they their career wasn't that long. Nah, very. Short. And so uh, my next one, I'm gonna take it old school for a rapper who I'm supposed to like, but really don't. And this is some classic '90s shit that to me I always detested, mm. and that is Lords of the Underground. You ain't like the singles. Here come the Lords. You ain't garbage. <laughs> you ain't mess with the Lords. Garbage. All I, their singles, trash. I dug the Lords. The man. Funky Man. Come on, man. And the other skinny dude who used to look crazy like a crackhead. Uh -huh. Nah, man. I couldn't fuck with them, man. <laughs> I like Lords of the Underground, man. No, they were like a fake-ass Daz FX when Daz FX was still on top. Daz FX came out all original and right. with the crazy voices the and Iggities. dancing around and the Iggities. And then you got these bum-ass Kmart <laughs> version of them. Lords of the Underground. Biting their whole shtick. They did. Biting the whole thing. And I'm just like, come on, man. Who likes this shit? I like the Lords, man. I cannot fucking stand Lords of the Underground. They had the, the big single they had. Uh, what the fuck was it? Um, uh, the funk, Return of the Funky Funky, one? Funky, whatever the fuck. That, that shit was big. But uh -huh. it was like, they never could rap. Like, let's not get it fucked up. None of them <laughs> fools could rap. I like the Even Lords, by man. 90 standards, man, they could not rap, dude. I like the Lords. And every time I would say they sucked around my roommates in college, They'd be I like, would. What? Yeah. What are you talking about, bro? This shit is fire. Right. I'm like, no, man. Flames, dog. This is a fake ass Dos Effects. Flames. <laughs> flames. This shit is dog. not flames, man. This shit is fucking a garbage can on fire flames. <laughs> This shit is a pile of, of I like poop the Lords, man. On fire. I had well, I never had the Lords record, but I got their singles. I like their I like their singles. Their but see, singles. why didn't you get their album though? I just never bought it. I, yeah, why though? I just never bought it. Yeah, because they wasn't fire. <laughs> that, that's my I just point. Never bought it. You was never interested. I was because not. deep down inside, you knew that you only liked them for the one little the beats. And you knew they wasn't tight, man. You your like subconscious singles, mind though. decided <laughs> That, that shit wasn't worth the money. <laughs> yeah, I think um, I stole all the singles too. See like, there, it was all come on, man. I don't want nine joints. Yeah, I don't want to hear that shit from you, buddy, man. You ain't even buy that shit. Oh, you was man. over there wilding, man. Yeah, Lords of the Underground, man. And as a dude from our era, right? I feel like whenever that song comes on, yeah, Cass is like looking at me like, oh, print, yeah. That shit, yeah. <laughs> like, nah, bro. I'm like, man, if y'all don't get out of here with this fake gossip <laughs> shit. <laughs> Are you pissed off, man? Like this shit is still not fire. Twenty years later, I don't like it still. Oh, that's so great. <laughs> but that's just Lords and I. Yeah, I'm supposed to like them. I don't like them, and I, I don't know what else to say. Yeah. So that's number three. Uh, we'll take a break. All right. What up, everybody? Blueprint here to let you guys know that all three of my books are finally back in stock. That means right here. What a night. This book is back in stock. It's $10. This is a book about the worst shows in my career. That's 10. Word is Blog Volume 1 is back in stock. That's $10. 
and also the making of adventures and counterculture this book is about my adventures and counterculture album if you have the album you know the album you should have a book too that's ten dollars all three of these books are back in stock uh, for ten dollars each or you can get all three of them for just twenty five dollars right now on waitlist.net that's all i got today uh thanks for your support peace Super Duty Tough Work Hoodies are finally available from Weightless.net. Order yours while supplies last. Thanks for your support. Okay. <laughs> All right. We're back in a building. We back sounding like mad haters. I know, man. Why we got to sound so... We sound like haters, but hey, man. <laughs> Come on, man. Look, everybody has these groups. If if I don't like it, I don't like it. That don't mean that I'm hating. Right, you right. Know, word of common sense. Right. And and I, I I like to back a little bit of this up with some, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Actual, like, reasoning. But the funniest part is just, like, all these groups, man. People, like, if we say this shit in public, people be like... <gasps> yeah, like, what? Yeah. How dare you? Okay. So we did the, uh, one through three? Yeah. Number four. I'll let you get it started, man. Mm. Go, go on in. J5, man. <laughs> Jurassic 5? J5. Come on. Everybody loves J5, man. Come on, dog. They're one of the most universally loved underground groups. Come on, dog. <laughs> Cats are corny, dog. <laughs> Super cheese, dog. Charlie Tuna? Come on, dog. His voice was... You don't like the verbal Herbert Munster, man? What's wrong with exactly. you? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Need I say more? It's the verbal Herbert Munster. <laughs> Need I say more? Damn. Need I say more? Only thing that was dope about there was the beats. Oh. If I ever, if I ever got anything that had J Five on it, it was an instrumental. The production up. was crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It Cut chemist and uh, gosh, Newmark. Yeah, yeah. That's what crazy carried production. On. Cats could not really. Yeah, you I know. wasn't was no. Mm -mm. Yeah, they had a. Nope. I will say I didn't like them that much at the beginning, but you know where I started listening. I don't say listening to them. I never listened to one of their albums, but mm. they used to play them a lot on B Boys Underground. Mm. Back in the day, Dibs yeah. and G Fresh used yeah. to play a lot of J Five on there. Yeah, the beats it was were dope. Of the beats. Had the turntablist element, yep. and and for all intents and purposes, J Five is kind of like on some pioneering of the underground shit. Yeah. So like we kind of are in a position where we have to like them. Yeah, like we're we, supposed to. We like we're being blasphemous right now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, hey, dog, you're being very blasphemous. I never, never could do it. Yeah, and then when Charlie Tuna went solo, I was like, "No, <laughs> he was no, the marquee guy. No, bro, you gotta go solo." Nah, man, you keep that. <laughs> nah, bro, Yo, you keep that voice. You know man. what I think helped him, man, is that uh, now that I've studied and I've learned more about branding and shit, their live show was dope. Oh, and, live show was incredible, and the logo was dope. The, but yeah, but that's what I'm part like the whole positioning, branding of it. Yeah, brilliant from the logo to them sounding like old school mm -hmm. like e they sounded old school before sounding like old school was cool right like they were really the first ones like old school before was sounding like epmd and run dmc and yeah. ll they took it back to like curtis blow yeah. like 84 85 yeah and they and no one took it that old school right so it's like yo you guys are really really taking it there like and that's and that might be why i didn't like them because it sounded too old school with the new stuff and i liked my old school in my old school right like we have a period of old school <laughs> yeah, that's like okay old, for us yeah they went past that nah bro they went to like 85 to 87 yeah they went like back to summer 87 and they didn't pick up in 88 back to school D. <laughs> right <laughs> <laughs> treacherous three exactly you know. <laughs> Oh man, wish uh, I could listen to them too. I don't know. It just yeah. yeah, J Five just was not the lick for me, man. Oh, that's hilarious, man. Okay, number five. This is this is what you got to go on. This is oh. this is you too. <sighs> this is this is another. But see, this one is not as big as, as the J Five, right? This is not as big as the other ones that we were, you know, or that are on this list, right? But this is one that I totally understand. Yeah, Seven L and Esoteric. So Seven L and Esoteric. Never been a fan ever. It was, it, it was, it's like a lot of those groups like them. Um, it was a couple other ones that were in the same ballpark that 
I felt just because we were coming up. Yeah. And they were already a little ahead of us. Yeah, they were. Our, that, yeah, they were ahead of us. They were ahead. Of, they were ahead of us and established, but they were still underground. Like we were supposed to like them. Like we were supp- <laughs> like, and there was a lot of groups that were like that. That you supposed to like them because that's what underground hip hop is. Yeah, you know. But, yeah, but you know, a lot of that too is because we're from Ohio, and yeah. I think like a lot of that East Coast stuff was driving what the underground shit yeah. was sounding like at that point. Like, like High and Mighty never cared for them either. Yeah, I would put them in the same same, yeah, same, same boat. kind of boat yeah. of groups that are like, this is this is what underground's supposed to sound like. Groups. Exactly. And they kind of don't deviate that straightforward boom bap shit. And if mm. like if you don't like it, you're just like, you ain't underground. Yeah. But it's like, but we're from out here, it's like, yo, what we were doing was so different right. than what they were doing. It's, it's like, yo, nah. Yeah, because it was like That's it was not. like they had the straightforward hip hop stuff, but it was like groups like Loop Pack and Dilated Peoples did it right. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Better and versions. It, it of was it. better versions of what they were trying to do. Yeah, I would agree with that analogy. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I just I never I never dug never dug them. Yeah, no, that's real. <laughs> Yeah, I can't go in because I've really only I might have only heard maybe three of their songs gotcha. in my life, and I've just been like, okay. It was see like because I tried to Not like these me. people because I felt like I was supposed to, <laughs> so I would go and listen to them and try. Like I tried. Yeah, I tried. It sounds so sad. Like <laughs> I tried. I just couldn't I really do it. Tr- I, really I really fucking tried, tried I man. Do it, it didn't man. work. I wanted to like them. Yeah, I wanted to like them. I tried. Just That's couldn't just do it. Fucking hilarious, man. <laughs> Okay, so I go in with number six, mm. man. This is this is a this is a big a, one, a big one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is gonna be blasphemous as soon as it come off my oh. tongue, but I'm just gonna say it. A rapper who I'm supposed to like, mm. but I don't. Mm. Biggie Smalls, oh. the notorious B.I.G. Now, this guy might even be worse than Tupac in terms of you have to like him. Oh, yeah. You know, like Tupac was. It's okay to not like Tupac if you're not from the West. Right. But Biggie is loved everywhere. Yeah. But let's be honest. He had two albums. Mm-hmm. The first album, it was okay. Yeah. It had it had joints the on singles it. had to be remixed to be hits. Right. Right. And I mean, honestly, the <sighs> best song on there is probably Twelve Crack Commandments. That's not on the first one. That's oh, second that's album. Second album. Shit. Second Ooh. album. First album, first song, maybe oh, The Wick, maybe. Yeah. With Method Man. He had some shit on there, but in that joint. time period, in that era, mm-hmm. I didn't feel like he was on par with any other rapping or shit that was going on in that era. And I was DJing in that era. Oh, so you had to play it. <laughs> you had to play it all but the time. <laughs> if you didn't have a Big E record, you had to play it in 1995, 96, bruh, you would get ran up out the jam. You would get fired. Like, you could not have the records <laughs> and you had to play their joints. I remember when Hypnotize came out. Oh, Doug, you, how many times you play it? Four, in, four to five times every party. Yeah, every party. You had to play it at 11 and you had to be playing at least two, three times right before the lights came on. Mm hmm. And then, you know, and, and every fucking party, same thing with One More Chance, mm-hmm. the remix, mm-hmm. you had to play that shit five times every party. So I, I eventually I was just like, I don't like this guy. He's not really that dope. Mm-hmm. And all of his production is pop records remixed. You know what Puffy was yeah, doing. Yeah. I always felt like I never really thought he could rap that well. Mm-hmm. So then he comes with the second album. Mm-hmm. It's a double album mm-hmm. and it needs to be a single album. Cause it's not really that good. It's not no in the end burner. All right. And then he dies, and everybody's, which is you know, rest in peace. It's fucked up, you know. But it's like, soon as he got shot, everybody was like, he's the best now. Nah. And I was just like, wait a minute, he's yeah. only on his second album. Yeah. This like, is crazy. Like neither Tupac or Big make my top twenty-five MCs. I mean, and. Not, I like Big a little more than what you're saying. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But because because Ready to Die, I can listen to it front to back. I can yeah. I'll skip a couple joints. But like as far as like what I consider His, MCs, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Him and Pac don't even scratch the 20, top 25 in my list. No. And people like praise them like they are the greatest thing. Like people put even the fact that Jay puts Big above him, I don't understand. Yeah, I think that's politics. I mean, I think it is too because he's from New York and you yeah, know, he don't want to. He would rather yeah. say he would rather defer to somebody who's dead, right, than give props to somebody who's alive. Truth, or to come out and say 
I'm that guy. Yeah, I've been that dude. I'm the best. I've been that dude since. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I never I never been, you know, the huge fan of Big, but I understood the allure. I liked him as a rapper. Yeah, I liked him as a rapper. I just yeah. I don't I mean I just don't think you can have one good album. Yeah. One average album and be the best. That's it. Yeah. That's my issue. It's like you you got to have at least one great album. Right. A bunch of good albums, All right? And just be consistent. Yeah. And like then Jay, for the most part, right? I could put you in the, the conversation, yeah. but how do you get invited to the conversation when you only had one good album and the other one was so fucking lopsided? Mm -hmm. It just had one good single. Yeah. Like, come on, man! Has anyone really listened to to, to Biggie's second album front to back in a while? I don't think I ever did. It's not that good. It's Ten Cracker Mouse was on the second album. Yeah, right? second album. That's one of the only Biggie songs that I probably still listen to to this day. Yeah, because uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's on the second album because the first album was uh, it was Warning, right? It, not uh, Premier did uh, he did the uh, the one with Unbelievable. Okay, that was the one that Primo did on the first album, right? Okay, I don't have to Google this shit, but yeah, but either way, this is like. Yeah, Life After Death, 10 Cracker Mountains on the second album. Mm. But yeah, it's one of those things It's like, man, I know I'm supposed to like this dude. Right. And and I'll, and if I'm at a party and one of the records comes on, I'm dancing to it. Of course. I'm going to sing along to but it. But the thing is, the ones that's going to come on are the ones that, the, the singles. Yes. Ain't no, they ain't nobody really playing mm. no... No, mm -hmm. no album joints except Ten Crack Commandments. Probably. Right, right. You might hear The Wick with Method yeah. Man if you had a real underground jam, right. but you're not hearing none of the other shit, man. I mean, shit. We, Detox or Paz might hit us with "Give Me the Loot." You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. that's it. Yeah, yeah, but that's for us. Right. That ain't because everybody know the words. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's for us. You right. know, us playing for each other. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's Biggie. Okay, we'll we'll do one more and then we'll take a break. And uh, this next this next one is you too, yeah, man. man. This next one kind of goes in with the seven L and esoteric grouping. Mm -hmm. Um, but Jedi mind tricks, man. You never got Jedi mind never, tricks. Never, ever, ever got them like them and like people under the stairs. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna throw them in there. <laughs> never. You don't groove with the high school with people under the stairs. No, nah, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. Him, uh, the dudes from people under the stairs, uh, Scarab, Merce. Oh, that's they all went to the same high school. That's crazy. But yeah, like that grouping of cat, like I never, I never got into it. Not saying they whack, you know, do like what yeah. you like, you know what I mean? But, but those were some of the biggest groups in underground hip hop. Exactly. And that's why, that's why they're on this list. Cause I think everybody thought yeah. because they were some of the biggest groups in the underground at the time that we were supposed to, everybody liked them. <laughs> everybody that was in the underground hip hop liked them. And I never could. And again, I tried. Yeah. I tried to like all of these. You know, it's funny. He's like, I've never tried to like Jedi Mind Tricks. I tried. I listen, but I mean, it's like I listen to him because I think I'm supposed to, and I listen to him, and I'm like, <laughs> Yo, I, can't, I don't like this shit. That shit is mad funny. I just listen because I feel like I'm. <laughs> yeah, like, I mean, I, I get it, but yeah, yeah, like I think because because you, you hear because yeah. you hear people like you know talking about these dudes, and it's like, oh, yeah. let me check this out and see what it's all about. And they got the dope name. Right, and they do have a dope name. Jedi the name Mind makes you want to listen. Very dope name. <laughs> makes you want to listen to the records. Name. Like what? That sounds just a but fire then, name. Yeah, but then you hear it and it's like, eh. Yeah, I don't think it's for me. Either. I could do without. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, let me throw my organized confusion back on. You know? <laughs> you know, let me throw some 93 tail. You know yeah. What I mean? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, let me get let me get in my bag real quick. Yeah. Yo, that, yo, that's hilarious. <laughs> okay, we'll take a break and we'll be right back. All right. <laughs> I get the sense of urgency with my music now based on the understanding that tomorrow isn't promised. Based on not just knowing that, but seeing it firsthand. Seeing people who I thought had forever, people I thought I would grow old with not even be here anymore. To me, if you don't understand that, then I don't know what can motivate you. Because one of the harshest realities in life is knowing that everything around you is temporary. Then the question becomes, what are you going to do with it? He is the pinnacle of poetry to me. I uh, can say nothing wrong. Blueprint has his shit all together. You know, all his T's across. 
you know, his eyes are dotted. You know, you really get to see like what your city is doing from like an outside view, like, you know, other people talking. And, you know, when I told them like, oh yeah, yeah, me and Print, you know, did shows together and stuff. They're like, what? Print's so dope. And you know, that, that, that made me feel real good because you know, that's coming from Columbus. When he's going all around the world, like he represents for Columbus, Ohio. And that is a big deal. You feel fear, you know, you start to panic. You start to wonder, oh, is this, you know, was the tour over? What are we gonna do? I'm a determined person, but I really didn't know how the fuck people come back from that because I'd never heard of anybody having anything like that happen to him and finishing a tour. You only get one life, no time to play. Don't ever waste your time, live for the day. You only get one life, no time to play. Don't ever waste your time, live for the day. Yes. All right, we back. Back in the building. Yeah, man. Very controversial topic this week. Yeah. Rappers we're supposed to like, but actually don't. Yeah. And shouts to all these rappers. Do your thing. You know what I mean? <laughs> just saying. Just saying. You thing. know, people probably say the same thing about us. Exactly. There's probably people like, man, why do people like Elijah? Exactly. I don't get it. I listen to Celestial one. It's just too fucking weird. I don't get it. Exactly. 88. That's some bullshit. Why would you listen to this blueprint exactly. guy? This and shit ain't tight. His voice is annoying. Own. Yeah. To each their own. Because I know it's cats that don't like me. <laughs> yeah. But the only thing, the thing that makes it funny is not that someone doesn't like you. It's just that when they feel like they're supposed to like you. Right. 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 <laughs> That's when it gets funny. Right. It's like like the motherfuckers literally sitting down trying like, yo, I need to like this. <laughs> I need to. And that was me, dog. Like this, like this. That was me, like, because mm. even let's with, do it again. Run it back. Oh, I, I I was about to mention one of the um one of the um ones we got coming later. Yeah, don't but, do that. Yeah, I ain't gonna do that. Yet. <laughs> don't do that. <sighs> we got all plenty right. of time. Yeah. All right. Go okay, ahead. we on number eight, man. Mm, we got this like is one. This is this is a we, we both on, yeah. in this boat. The last few of these are gonna hit a little harder <laughs> than the first. <laughs> so uh, this next one, rapper, we're supposed to like, mm. but we don't like. Mm. Number eight is none other than Talib Kweli. Dog. I don't know of any rapper who people assume I like more than Talib Kweli. Yeah, me too, especially with him being pro-black and whatnot. Yeah, it's just like, there's somehow this guy got affiliated with like our movement so much mm -hmm. that people just assume that we actually like him. Mm. And I can tell you that I've been a proud hater of <laughs> Talib Kweli since the year 2001. Since that first 2000 single came out on. Yeah, 2000 seasons. Seasons. I liked that. Yeah. But I thought everything else he did was kind of sketchy. Mm -hmm. And after that, I was like, this guy is not a great rapper. Not yeah. a good rapper to me. Now, what's crazy is the worst part about this is that. Because of his ties to Cincinnati, yeah. Because his producer High Tech is from Cincinnati, yeah. Saying you didn't like to live quality mm -hmm. in Cincinnati mm -hmm. in the year two thousand mm, was blasphemy. But blasphemy, you could be motherfucker will be ready to fight you mm -hmm. because they call him Qua down there. You don't like Qua? Oh, he got a nickname. Yeah, he got a nickname <laughs> in Cincinnati. Qua, never disrespect Qua. <laughs> Or this admit you don't like his music in Cincinnati, this dog. This is hilarious. Well, they will come for you. I found out firsthand. Cause, really? Yeah, because I would be like, my my thing with him back in 2000 was, and this is a follow-up on the battle episode, is that I didn't like how he would talk all this shit about battling, but he didn't have no battle history. Mm. I was like, this dude talks all this shit about what he would do at battles and freestyling and whack him see this and whack him see that. And, you know, I was like, his punchlines ain't even good. And who's got, where's the history? Yeah, where is the footage? He? Where's the, the footage? Yeah. Where's the rumors? Mm -hmm. Who has he battled? They don't even got to be good that he's battled anybody. 
Right. And this is at the time when we're going up to Top Cats and there's battles every week. Right. And we're at Bernie's and there's battles all the time. And we're out on the road and we're just running around, running amok, battling all over the place. And we got this guy from who, from Cincinnati who they're talking about, Kwa, he's got a good fucking nickname, talking about battling and he's never been seen by anybody. Yeah. And I was just like, I don't know about this guy. And then this is records and he's like, he's just got, and over the years, he's just got so many bad punchlines, man. And it's just, <laughs> they have built up over the uh, years. I mean, Get By was probably the best song of his that I've. Easily. Uh, I mean, <laughs> Kanye saved his life with that beat. Oh, yeah. Kanye saved his life with that song, man. Like, I mean, this is the guy who's got lines like, you know, we go through episodes like Return of the Clones. Yeah, terrible. Uh, he's got um, MC's is limp like biscuit. Yeah, he did say that, didn't he? MCs are limp like biscuit. He Kwan. said limp like biscuit. It he, goes on and on. Like he I really said that. I forgot about that one. There's so many bad ones. We used to go in on tour. Yeah, we used to have like <laughs> 20 of them on deck. And if I listen to this, if I catch his songs, like his lines, he'll just be jumping out to me. Right. Like so many so bad. awful punchlines. So but over the years, it's just fucked up because everywhere I go, mm-hmm. people assume I love Kwali. I can't tell you the words to a single fucking song of his. Yeah. The closest I came to was knowing some of the words to 2000 Seasons. Mm-hmm. And I was in 99 or something like that, 98, when that record came out. Yeah. And, uh, but I've never listened to his albums. I've listened to him enough to be like, no, thank you. And it's wild. Just, just like we cannot escape him. Like people think that we're, if they only knew that we're just like, no, nah, I'm not nah. rocking with him. There's so many other dope dudes from that era mm-hmm. who I was listening to. Like right. when Talib Kweli was coming out, I was listening to Company Flow. Right. I was listening to Natural Resources. Right. I was listening to the Juggernauts. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Like we wasn't fucking with no goddamn what. <laughs> Kwali, yeah, man. When, when you got company flow over here and the indelible MCs, yeah. No thanks, man. I'm gonna be over here. <laughs> yeah, man. That's what we was doing. We was listening to the fucking megahertz. We was we was not listening to to live Kwali back then. Yeah. But now time has passed and people just uh, they have just put him at the mantle, mm-hmm. I guess, of like the mainstream artists with underground sensibilities. Right. And therefore, we should think he's dope. Or like us and it's just like no man this guy's never been independent yeah man being associated with most deaf is the best thing that ever happened to him easily because most deaf is dope most deaf is nasty dope yes but yeah i don't i don't like him and you know it's unfair that y'all expect me to yeah very unfair so yeah that's number eight <laughs> yeah number nine all right i might this this one might get me you know talk to next time i go to an underground it might jam. get you talk to tonight by me <laughs> motherfucker <laughs> It's going to get me walking across this table having words with you over this one. I don't know what you was thinking with this one, but I'm going to let it's you cook. It's true for me. I'll just never. I just. Go ahead and cook. Beat nuts, man. Never, ever been. Like the beats. Like the singles. Never owned a beat nuts record. Tried. Even even late, like later in life when I grew up a little bit, you know, thinking like. You know, like kind of like the Jungle Brothers. Like maybe I missed something when I was young. Beatnuts is better than the Jungle Brothers, man. I mean, they got more classics. Oh man, I, I just couldn't. I just I I just couldn't get into it. I just can't get into it. We gonna fight over that shit. I just can't get into it, dog. Like you can cram it down my ear lobe. I can't. I can't get into it. Yo, man. I can't. The beat nuts to me are in the same category as like the alcoholics when it comes to just like slept on underground groups. But I uh, I never heard. I don't know, man. I like the beat nuts, but you know, this episode, fuck it. it I got to let you go. Right, like, because. Didn't like the voices. <sighs> Psycho didn't, Less? Didn't like the voices. Damn. Like I, like I said, love the production. Yeah. Never liked the voices. Never thought the lyrics were dope. <sighs> didn't. You about to pull up some joints? <laughs> I got to go look at some of the album I covers, can't. I, I just couldn't get it, man. I just couldn't get into it. And I still I still can't. Like, <sighs> I've even tried probably in the last maybe couple years to go in because um, I like um, Psycho. I think it was Psycho Les that was on Rhythm Roulette. And after I saw him on Rhythm Roulette, I was like, let me go back and listen to some Beat Nuts and see if I, you know. And I, nope. What? No, bro. What did you go back and listen to? I don't even remember names of the songs. Like, I know it was a couple singles that was dope. But Street. I went to listen to like stuff that wasn't singles that I know I you know I thought was yeah. all right. But yeah, man, be nuts. Never been. Well, you need to pick up that intoxicated demons. First of all, then world famous. 
But you know what? I'm, we gonna talk about this off air. <laughs> This is this is the one on your list. I'm like, what? Yeah, man. See, I'm oh, supposed to like no. it. I'm supposed right, to like right, it. Right, right, right. I'm I'm telling you, you're supposed to like it now. <laughs> right. I'm telling you. And I yeah, yeah. I we gonna fight up, you know, nah, buddy. Yeah, man. I know. Next time I'm probably see pause. He gonna be like, what? This guy disrespecting the beat nuts. Hey, man. I ain't no disrespect. It's just not my thing, man. It's just not feeling okay. the beat nuts. Okay. And I mean, and like for you to mention them in the same breath as the alcoholics, I feel is blasphemy. <laughs> <laughs> like I can't. I, how dare you? <laughs> how dare you say that they're like the alcohol? What in what world? But in my know. world, in logic, <laughs> come on, man, nah, bro, nah, no, no, hell no. Okay, man, I'm gonna let you off. This. We'll talk about this after the, after nah, this episode man. is over. All right. Okay, that's number nine. <laughs> We got one more joint. One more joint. One more joint, man. Of rappers we're supposed to like, but actually don't. And this has been saved for last because this has got to be the most obvious one, but sometimes the most controversial. You know what? I don't think we're supposed to like him now. Yeah, but at some point we we're supposed to. Be, uh, you know what? I ain't going to say that. People still yeah. talk to me about it. People still uh, act like I'm supposed they to. They can't. They, not now. Okay. The number 10 rapper we're supposed to like, but don't like. Mm. Is Eminem. Mm. Why the fuck do people act like Eminem has set any kind of standard in hip hop for anything? Mm. This man has singles are I. He's had one dope single, one corny but catchy single, and his albums are lopsided as fuck, cannot write a hook, raps about absolutely nothing. You know, he uses too many napkins. Napkins. <laughs> <laughs> Bapkins and Smapkins. Have you seen the new one? Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Boxes yeah. in the garage. <laughs> <laughs> you using way too many napkins. Bapkins and Smapkins. <laughs> Lapkins and Japkins. <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Mr. Jap Lapkins and Japkins himself, Eminem. <laughs> People think I'm supposed to like him. And the floorboards and the <laughs> Yeah, floorboards and the four tours and the war gorge and the war stores and the war gorge. Over the George Gorge. Cooking a meal on a George Foreman. I'm a board foreman with a four lords and a board foreman. <laughs> lords and underground with lords and underground board foreman. It's like, man, if you don't oh. shut the fuck up with that oh. bullshit, he is oh. the epitome of everything that's just wrong with fucking oh, man. The, the people who feel like you're supposed to like something because you're supposed to like something. Right. His execution is awful. Mm. His voice is whack. His singles are whack. He's corny. He's like 45, 50, still wearing hoodies, trying to look cool. He hasn't evolved. He's still talking the same dumb shit, like throwing bitches in the trunk and robbing and raping and shit. No, you ain't doing none of that. Mm. It's just like, man, if you don't sit your old ass down somewhere, grow up. Your music has always been whack. Dre is, gave you the only decent record you ever put out. Yeah, the first record I, I and, actually liked. And people grade him on a fucking curve. He's fucking terrible, and he's getting worse every time out. Oh, yeah. Like, Eminem hasn't put out a decent record since the second record. Ugh. The Marshall Mathers LP. That one was, he had some joints on there. I like yeah. I like some songs on that record. But after that, it was, it was definitely downhill. Eminem is the McDonald's of hip-hop. I can see that. That's a good comparison. Like, yeah. We all fuck with McDonald's every now and again, but right. let's not pretend this shit is good. Yeah, like you're not. You, I mean, honestly, you're not really supposed to eat that. Come shit. on, you know. <laughs> yeah, it's on every corner, but you know. You know better. You know that's McDonald's. Stop acting like that ain't McDonald's. You know, come on now, your mama raised you better than that. Yeah, I like the fries too, bro. But you know, <laughs> you know what the fuck is up. Why we gotta pretend this shit good for us? Just because it's on every corner. Yeah, man. That's Eminem, man. Yeah, man, I feel that. That's funny. <laughs> That's really funny. Okay, honorable mention. Oh, man. We got two. Mm. And uh, <laughs> this is one where, you know, recently we I went and seen these guys play, and their uh, live show was dope. Yeah. And I've been trying to like them for several years. Yeah, me too. Unsuccessfully. Mm. Shabazz Palaces. Yeah, I, I feel like since I, you know, did songs with Anaconda and Dose because you, you know, a weirdo. Because I'm a weird dude. They want you to like I'm weirdos. Supposed to like the weird. Yeah, it's too weird for me. Yeah, and that says something. Yeah, like when it's too weird for me. Yeah. Then come on, <laughs> <laughs> come on. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
like I listen to Yoni still, and Yoni ain't that weird. No, no, no. They they're next level weird. They're next level weird. I keep trying to like their records, and I I can't. It's just too weird for me too. I love what they stand for. I right. love the imagery behind it. Yes. I love the execution. Yes. I even love the fact that you know the main guy reinvented himself completely and, and is having success yep. twice which is hard to do in the music industry mm-hmm. to like be like diggable planet successful then Sebastian a whole nother thing a whole completely different kind of success I love that yeah me too I just don't I can't get the music I don't get it I can't I, and, can't, I can't listen to it for it and people think we're supposed to get it yeah but yeah Shabazz Palaces yeah. and then the last one mm. which you disagree with me on this one but yeah. I'm gonna say it anyway UGK, I like Underground UGK. Kings. Mm. Let me tell you when I first heard UGK, man. I first heard UGK back in '93 when their first tape came out. My roommates were playing it in college, '93, '94, and they kept playing that pocket full of stones. Y'all like all oh, that song? Is so Even classic. That song is so ill. I spent two years My absolutely goodness. hating that song. Yeah, now song. I talk or tolerate it, but their fucking voices annoyed the fuck out of me. Really? Yeah. You don't yeah. like Bun B? Don't I like really Bun don't voice? like Bun B. I don't like Bun B as a rapper, period. Oh, come on. He's friend. he's he's got no pocket. He ain't got no style on the mic. He, he the just trellis, sounds man. country. He the trellis, man. I'm supposed to like him, and he's I so know trill. I love what he stands for. He's an intelligent dude. He's articulate. He's a fucking pioneer. I get that, but when he starts rapping, my mind just goes into screensaver mode. <laughs> Bobby is the shit. Dog. It's like, <laughs> like when your shit is inactive and your screensaver comes yeah. on and goes black. <laughs> That's what happens to my mind when Bun B starts rapping. You don't like no UGK songs? No, really? I don't even like their verses on uh, one joint that they, the classic joint they got international whatever the fuck international uh, players, players anthem. anthem. I don't even like the verses on that. You don't, you ain't like Pimp C on um on Big Pimpin'? Hell no! Come on, bro. Did not like him on that. I know it's blasphemous. This is probably be the most blasphemous opinion I've had on this whole thing. But everyone seems to like UGK. I love UGK, and I'm like these guys aren't even dope Southern rap, man. They are though. They're not. They are. That shit is not fire. But you gotta throw it on. You got like Bun B's last record, like the most recent record that he put out. No interest in listening to it. Shit is fucking dope. Yeah, we'll see. When he, <laughs> it is, bro. He don't have no style, man. He just uh, sounds man. like he do though. Cause he bum 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 ba dum ba dum ba. Bum ba dum bum ba dum bum ba dum ba dum ba. Disrespect. Every bun. verse sounds like that. Disrespect the bun, man. <laughs> Come on, bro. All right, man. Let me stop hating. <laughs> I like no Bun-B. disrespect. I like everything else about Bum B except his raps. Uh, if that you know makes anyone feel any better, it doesn't. <laughs> I like Bun B and UGK. Yeah, yeah. So that's it. Yeah, that's it. That's the top ten we're rappers hating. that we're supposed to like. Well, we actually don't. Right. And I hope y'all, you know, got some laughs out of this. It's all meant in fun. Yeah. Even though we might get animated about this shit. Right. You know, all of these dudes got a couple jams. Well, a lot of dudes just got a jam that I will listen to. Mm-hmm. You know, if it comes on, I'll be right. like, word, okay. But overall, yeah, it's just the fact that people assume we like them, and you know, that's the word makes it weird. Yeah. J. Cole's one of the only newer dudes that I let my kids listen to. Yeah, see, that's good. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna read them back. All right. Number one, Tupac. Mm. Number two, J. Cole. Number three, Lords of the Underground. Number four, Jurassic Five. Number five, Seven Ellen Esoteric. Number six, Biggie. Number seven, Jedi Mind Tricks. Number eight, Talib Kwali. Number nine, The Beat Nuts. <laughs> Number 10, Eminem. And an honorable mention goes to Shabazz Palaces and UGK. <laughs> and that's it for this week, man. I hope you enjoyed this, and uh, we'll see y'all next week. Peace. Peace. Thank you for listening to Super Duty Tough Work. Subscribe to the podcast on iTunes. Follow the podcast on SoundCloud. Peace. Shoot, I got styles already that's more complex than nobody know about. I mean, super duty tough work. <laughs>